she has now risen summer and as i am observing the subtle changes in the season i realize that we have reached a destination we are now about to witness lamis or lunasis and she is the first of three harvest festivals as we come down from the high fever of summertime. Here in the US, corn is queen, and she is the first big green harvest we observe. I'm so glad you're here with me, wild ones. I'm Heather Lynn, if we haven't met before, and I am the Wild Woodland Witch. When I think of Lunasis, I think of the sun and the bounty just beginning. And I look inside myself to see the subtle changes in me reflected from the changes I see in nature as the wheel of the year turns. What do you feel, see, and know to be true as you look upon the sun and feel the fever of summer waning? Let's explore together and keep on watching. As a green witch, the first thing I see is the plant kingdom. That would probably be my answer to most things. What do you see first? But I found an odd plant to explore this Lunasis while I was looking, and I wanted to share her with you. This is purple lustrif. She is seen as a nuisance, an invasive plant with little to offer, when in fact she is ultimately a great healer and produces a glorious dye for material. She is misunderstood medicinally. I will link this article below for you if you wish to explore further as I have. Uh, little drops of cold brew has the most sugar. <laughs> I put very, very little, but it's very celebratory, that last drop. So I harvested her. I used some allium, which is another plant, to soak into some single ply weaving fabric overnight. And then I dried her in the glorious sunshine as she is going to be a decoration for two loo crafts we are about to make. Did you know that witchcraft is simple? So many witches make it this complex, unattainable thing that in the end is truly simple. If we make it that way, just by weaving a little magic into our daily workings. At least for me as a folk magic practitioner, and I love sharing my perspective with you as a simple witch. I also love to share this idea. You can be whatever kind of witch you like, as long as you're being safe and not hurting anybody. And your magical practice, it's valid. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. In fact, you're amazing, in case no one's told you that today. I wanted to make sure that I said it here. And if you want to hear more of my thoughts or you want to see more, don't forget to press the like, subscribe, join me over on Instagram, and I even have a TikTok now that I use to share my simple magic examples. I dried a bunch of loose drift to experiment with in the future, and I dried this batch again in the sun to soak up the high energy of summer. And then I thought about the sun, which led me to this lemon and some sun lemonade, which I whispered ideas and projects that could use some of her energy. With my drink in hand, I began a small herb harvest in preparation for making some smudge bundles. But doesn't this smudge bundle look just like a wand? Yeah, guess what my next video is about. I'm already thinking about wand making. If you want a fast tutorial on smudge sticks, my H sister Haley has a great video on that and her video inspired this project as part of my Lunasis crafting. Thanks girl. And that brings me to wild black raspberries. At the end of their harvest right now, I decided to share the glory of the abundance all around me with those near and dear. You might know I am a preschool teacher and own a nature-based preschool. So I began to craft a little intention spell to share in the form of delicious homemade muffins 
through a little kitchen witchery. I think there is a difference between infusing food with loving intentions for those around us and casting a spell on someone. I tend to stay away from the latter completely, but I do infuse positivity and loving ideas into food and some kitchen witchery now and again, and I share this food with the people I love. It's as simple, this Lunasis, as honoring the wheat harvest which is happening all around the world with a simple recipe. The recipe for these muffins are below for you, and they are sweet and sharp from the wild berries, but you could use just about any berries. When honoring the harvest, it makes sense for me to celebrate it in a way that incorporates what I find in nature. The spiral is a symbol I physically draw a lot, and it's also a symbol I draw magic from because it appears so readily in nature. To me, the spiral is sacred. I love this spiral in the batter that formed, and once baked, the spiral also remained. It just adds so much joy to this process. It amps up the magic. The spiral undoubtedly represents the wheel of the year in some ways. The wheel of the year is a continued cycle that we repeat and repeat and repeat again both internally and externally through what's happening in nature. Ultimately, no matter the history of the celebration on the wheel of the year, it's really about what we choose to do in the present to honor this time of year and notice her. The spiral just appeared. It wasn't planned. And it certainly was some wild magic. And these are the moments I treasure as a witch. In my mind, thinking of spirals, the sun, and the harvest, I felt inspired to begin a new project to honor, this time, the circle of the sun. So I decided to make a round wearable crown with mugwort, echinacea flower, peppermint, and corn. This was to symbolize the circle we are in, the harvest itself around me, and with the beautiful blue string, I supported the crown, and wow, the blue color around the crown just popped. And so my wild ones, I light a candle today to honor the sun and wish you a very merry Lunasis or Lamis and offer you a gentle reminder to look around and notice the little details of change that are just beginning. If you live where the harvest is abundant, May you be blessed truly by this. And for those whose bounty is on its way, stand fast with open arms. May love spiral and circle around you as the summer's fever breaks and the dance of nature produces a harvest we can cheer for. And around and around and around we go again, this wheel of the year. And oh yes, my dears, come and find me again. Until next time.